Hello, I'm here for a certain scientific accelerator episode 11 review. Uh, this episode starts with Taro Isaac saying that he's ascending to godhood. Well, actually, it starts with people rec- realizing that everything's grayed out and like, that's impossible. What is the color? And stuff like that. And they uh, run to see what's glowing and look at the Sephirothic tree. Or the tree of Sephiroth. Or the tree of life, depending on which one you want to call it. It's shown a few times throughout the episode. It's the first half. So, like, with a destroy body. It just regenerates and he's like, I'll just destroy each one. Uh, Isaac's, uh, wait, no, talks to Accelerator, brings up the fact that, oh, yours is one, I need the memory of 10,000 deaths, 31 deaths, then Isaac's like, oh wait, you're the one, Accelerator's like, they're their memories, not mine. Not yours to use. Theirs. <laughs> Esther is, uh... Isaac leaves to another place inside the school. Close to its core. Esther's crying because she's remembering Isaac's words to her about how she's a failure and how death follows her. Mainly by how the death follows her. That's how he Jimmy died. Hishigaya wants revenge. Uh, sister's still there too. Uh, let's see. Esther's like, we can take him out. Excel is like, I'll just destroy the entire body. And Esther's like, no, it would generate as long as the charms attach. We need to use this basic, the Emperor Shin's son's knife. It re- it's basically poisoned then. Is what she basically said. Not 100% accurate. More of a, what she basically said. Uh, they walk. Hishigaya used the Hishigaya somehow got in front of them. They ask how he got there, and he's like, Oh, I know all sorts of secret pathways. So they go down the elevator. Uh, Isaac's watching them. Ayo is the fancy scale doing, uh, waiting for a go ahead, but hasn't gotten one. She sort of just goes on her own. The others follow her, because she says, I can't abandon kids in danger. So, yeah, there's that. Let's see. I'm just gonna focus the rest on that. They run into zombies. So, Esther's like... I, I don't really remember what Esther was like. So it was like, don't look, he was like, he can't do that. And this hit one, the sister hit one for crowbar. It cuts to last order of sleep and having a dream with a sister right by her. Her head was right by her on her lap. And outside the window you can see the tree of Sephiroth. Accelerators dealing with the zombies. And stuff like that. They. Well, wait, no. After they dealt with it around the time, I think, because when they brought up Emperor Shun's sword, knife, 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 knife. They're worried about him being up. Accelerator brings up the whole turn good before you die trope. <laughs> yeah, but that's episode 11 of a certain scientific accelerator. I'd give it about an 8.5. <laughs>
Episode 6 is definitely the highlight of the season. Uh, but I plan to upload Hinamatsuri Part 3 as a review soon with Part 4 for the shop following. I'm not really going to be doing any anime next season for reviews of the, well, the Aaron ones. I'm going to put my focus to the review of this next season. And shortly following that, I will review a certain magical index 2. With a certain magical index 3. Uh, do Railgun before Railgun T airs. Railgun, Railgun S before Railgun T airs. I'll bring it up with the index reviews. I'll also review the index movie. Reviews for index are going to be very different as they're going to be arc by arc. Rogan's going to be in four part reviews of six episodes. When I do get to World War 3, expect something different. I'm not going to do review nine episodes in one go. <laughs> yeah, but bye. Matt.